What's up everybody, this is Film Phoenix A2 back again, and this is episode 6 of my horror slash thriller collection, where in this episode I'm going to be showing off my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. So, um, yep, now originally I was going to do my Final Destination Blu-ray collection for episode 6, but in as I mentioned in episode 5 where I did my Child's Play collection, but... Since I just recently completed my Texas Chainsaw collection, I decided to go ahead and do this instead, and then I'll I'll do my Final Destination Blu-ray collection in Episode Seven. So um, yeah. But as you can see, I own Texas Chainsaws one, two, three, and four on VHS. I have the 2003 remake and the 2006 prequel to the remake, both on DVD. And I have Texas Chainsaw 3D on Blu-ray. So, um, yeah, well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, starting off, first off I have right here is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original 1974 classic. And this is a 1988 VHS release by Video Treasures. Now, um, originally this movie came out on VHS sometime in the early 80s by... Wizard Video, and then in the mid 80s was when Media Home Entertainment reissued this movie onto VHS. And this Video Treasures release is basically a, a reprint of the Media Home Entertainment release since it's got the same cover from the Media VHS. So, um, yeah, well, anyways, here's the front and the side and the back right here. And of course, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a great horror classic. I mean, you got these group of teenagers who ran out of gas in the middle of the road, and they come across this house in the middle of nowhere full of dead flesh of human and animal remains and stuff. And of course, they they come across Leatherface, the killer, and they all get killed one by one. So, um, yep. Well, anyways, here's I'm going to go ahead and pull out the tape itself. As you can see, I got it in this box protector. So, um, you know, anyways, here's the case, front, side, and back. And let me pull out the tape itself, and there's the tape with the ink label. So, yep, that's the 1988 Video Treasures VHS release for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 1974 classic. Alright, moving on. Next up I got right here is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, released in 1986 by Canon Films. So, um, yep, now, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, you know, to be honest, I didn't really understand this movie that much. I mean, th this movie just, it just felt a little too goofy in a couple of ways. Like, you know, like the scenes where Leatherface is dancing around with his chainsaw and of course he he supposedly um caresses this this girl with his chainsaw putting it in between her legs and stuff i mean i don't really know what that's all about but the, the only good thing about this movie though is is uh dennis hopper i mean he plays this um texas ranger who's vowing revenge on leatherface for murdering his relatives years ago and whatnot and um there is one scene where he goes inside this um hardware store and he picks out this this chainsaw and and tests it out on this this piece of wood you know i mean going crazy i mean that's pretty cool and, and he does have a cool encounter with leatherface towards the end of the movie but um yeah but other than that is this movie is well i don't know it just wasn't that good to me but I have it, and this is the 1989 VHS release by Video Treasures, so, um, yep. But anyways, let me pull out the tape itself. Here's the cover, front, side, and back. And here's the tape with the sticker label right there, so, um, yep, that's the 1989 Video Treasures VHS release for The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, released in 1986. Alright, next up I have right here is Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, released in 1990 by 
New Line Cinema. So, um, yep. Now, out of all of the Texas Chainsaw sequels, this is by far the best one. Yeah, I mean, especially unlike the second movie, this one actually is dark and scary, just like the first movie. I mean, there's no goofiness or any comedy or whatnot. It's just straight to the point scary, which I like. So, um, yep, and of course, Leatherface is, is back, and, and of course, to his remaining family members are in this this new mansion and whatnot, and... And a, a one strange thing is that there's this um, girl in the this little girl in the household who collects these dolls that are actually made out of human bones and skin, which is you know pretty creepy and whatnot. So um, yeah. But anyways, Leatherface: The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Three, this great sequel. And as you can see, I have the uncut VHS release from 1996. So um, yeah. Well, anyways. Here's the tape itself with the ink label right there. So, yep, that is the 1996 uncut VHS release for Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, released in 1990. All right, and next we get to quite possibly the worst of the Texas Chainsaws, and that is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Now, this movie originally came out in 1994 at a at a film festival, but it didn't receive a theatrical release until 1997, you know, so, um, yeah, they decided to give this movie a theatrical release in 97 since Renee Zellweger and Matthew McConaughey's acting careers began to take off at that time since they weren't yet known actors when they, um, starred in this movie, but, um, yeah, but since they went on to do, um, bigger and better roles you know they decide to get this movie a theatrical release but but still this is a, a pretty shitty texas chainsaw film i mean this movie um it's about these these group of teenagers who had just been to this high school prom and a as they leave they they get into this this accident in the middle of the road and they go off looking for help and they eventually come across the the sawyer household you know um, Leatherface's family, and one one by one they get killed off. Now, you know the 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 acting in this movie is pretty terrible. I mean, storylines not that great, whatnot, and all in all, it was just pretty bad. I mean, I I really don't can. And w one funny thing about this movie is that towards the end of this this movie, Leatherface actually changes his uh, appearance and makes himself a woman. I mean. I don't really know what that's all about, but, um, yeah, all, all in all, I, I really don't consider this, uh, a serious Texas Chainsaw, um, film. I, I consider this more, more of a, of a, a fan-made film, because that, that's exactly what it feels like, you know, it feels like a, a, a fan film rather than a, a serious move, entry into the series and whatnot, so, um, yeah, I mean, of course, you know, I only have it to complete my Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, but, I really don't recommend this film at all, but um, yeah. But anyways, let me go ahead and show you the tape itself. As you can see, this is a Columbia TriStar home video VHS release. So um, yeah. But anyways, that's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre: The Next Generation. See so, ya. Yeah. All right. Next up, I have right here is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre: The 2003 Remake, released in. 2003 by New Line Cinema, and as you can see, I have the DVD release for it. So, um, yep. Now, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, eh, it, it was somewhat okay, but in my opinion, it still really didn't have the the same feel to it as the original 1974 classic and whatnot. But mm, still, I have this, and it's prequel to it anyway. So, um. Yeah, well, anyways, here's the front of the DVD case, and there's the side right there, and here's the back of it right here, and let me open this up, and there's the DVD. So, yep, that's the DVD release for The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 2003 remake. Alright, next up I have right here is... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning, which is the 
2006 prequel to the 2003 remake, also released by New Line Cinema. So, um, yeah, this movie takes place before the 2003 remake, and it's basically about Leatherface's first victims before the 2003, the, the events in the 2003 remake. So, um, yeah, th this one was also okay. I mean, I still don't like it as good as the original, but still alright. So, um, yeah, well, anyways, here's the front of the DVD case, and there's the side, and there's the back right here. And let me open this up, and there's the DVD right there. So, yep, that's the DVD release for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. So, yep. Alright, and last up I have right here is Texas Chainsaw 3D, released in 2013 by Lionsgate. And I have the Blu-ray 3D release for this, so, um, yep, now, Texas Chainsaw 3D, this is actually another sequel in the, in the same, um, series as the original 1974 film. You know, I mean, this, ex this ignores the remake and the 2006 prequel, you know, this is another film in the same series as the 74 film but still this movie was a a big disappointment i mean the the storyline of this movie is that um it, it starts off right after the events of the 1974 film and um this one sheriff and his buddies they track down the sawyer household and and burn it down and they're claimed as heroes for it and then fast forward decades later um this one girl by the name of Heather, she learns about this estate that was inherited by her deceased grandmother who happens to be a member of the Sawyer family. And so Heather takes her group of friends up to this estate and then one on one they get um, killed off by Leatherface. And she later finds out that she's related to Leatherface and she eventually teams up with with him to um, take revenge on that sheriff who burned down his um, house from the original movie and whatnot. And you see, the thing is, we're we're not supposed to side with Leatherface. I mean, we're supposed to be uh, we're supposed to be scared of Leatherface because you know he's a a strange psychotic killer and whatnot. So I really don't know what's what's up with them making Leatherface a hero at the end of the movie, but. Yeah, but still, I have this anyway, so, um, yeah, well, anyways, here's the front of the slipcover, and there's the side, right here, and there's the back of it, right there, alright, and let me pull, pull this out, and here's the Blu-ray case itself, front, side, and back, now let me open this up, and there's the Blu-ray disc right there, so, Yep, that's the Blu-ray 3D release for Texas Chainsaw 3D, released in 2013. So, yep. Alright, and that should do for episode 6 of my horror slash thriller collection, my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. And stick around for episode 7, where I will be showing you guys my Final Destination Blu-ray collection. So, um, yeah, well, anyways, this is Film Phoenix A2 signing off, and I will see y'all later. Peace.